<laughs> Not much to, I mean, just a student. Hung out with us, talked, skateboarded. <sighs> Can't believe this has happened right close to me. Brian Galimo is just one of thousands of students at Mississippi State that were shocked to hear of a late night shooting on Saturday at Evans Hall that ended in the death of 21-year-old John Sanderson of Madison, Mississippi. Maroon alerts were sent out to students starting at 10.27 p.m. Saturday. There were three alerts sent in all. The final alert was sent at 11.17, confirming the shooting as well as the victim's death. University officials held a press conference with further details regarding the incident Sunday morning at 10. Our university police department is leading the investigation, working closely with Starkville Police, the Octibaho County Sheriff's Office, and the Mississippi Highway Patrol. And they are actively following all leads. University police were notified of an incident at 9.54 p.m. and responded by 9.55. The victim was transported to the Octibaha County Hospital after being found in critical condition. At about 11.03, he was pronounced dead. Two important updates have taken place. A weapon has been found on our campus, so that's an important update in the investigation. And the police department reports that a person of interest has been identified. Three black male suspects fled Evans Hall in a late model blue Crown Victoria. As of Sunday afternoon, the suspects were still at large. After the shooting on Saturday night, many are left questioning the safety of Mississippi State University. Vice President for Student Affairs, Bill Kibler, assures us all that Mississippi State is still a safe campus. Our response systems and safety systems uh, work fine and we want to reassure students' parents. That's what our president did this morning to try to reassure everyone that Mississippi State University is a safe campus and encourage uh, everyone to you know, go about their normal business at this point. Mississippi State has set up resources for the community to help those having trouble coping with their grief. These resources include the Student Counseling Center, Dean of Students, Office of Housing and Resident Life, Office of Parent Services, and the Office of the Provost. I'm Lauren Holt, reporting for Take 30 News. But, um...